Hey, what's going on, everybody? So just to kind of continue uh, the booking tutorial. So this is the uh, live version of the site. Let's go ahead and click one. So clients come in. They see that it's free. They get a consultation for different kinds of services. Uh, browse the services. Pick which one they want. Pick a time that works for them. All the times and available uh, dates will be based on the staff member's availability that you set for it. So you can set the times that people are available to book, and then they can add that to their calendar, which is really neat. So that way it just goes right to the Google Calendar for the client, and uh, it's just super easy for everybody. So let's kind of get out of here. And just also to show you, when it is booked, you'll get an email and you'll get a notification on your phone if you download the Wix mobile app showing that you got a booking when it is and the client's information. So you're notified right away via email and via the mobile app. Oh, let's skip out of that. Let's go back to the services. So here in the dashboard, let's click out of here really quick. So after the free consultations, I also made my next list of services. So I made another uh, service and then I duplicated it. And these are gonna be for paid services. So I just wanna show you different ways that we can manage the paid services. And it'd be easier to show you on the live site first. So let's go to Wix websites. So that would be the obvious next thing for me to get into right is to have a service for that so when you go in it's got the pricing uh, how long this consultation would be a little bit of information about it and they can click more info and if they go here and they ask for more info it'll basically tell them that they need to book a consultation before purchase so this is for if you have a paid service you want customers to be able to see what the paid services are. So when they go into the consultation, they're a little bit more informed, but they can't actually book it without your approval. With this, you get a consultation and then you would send them an invoice using the Wix invoicing system. And this way you can make sure that no one pays for something that doesn't fit their needs. So that way, if someone were to book the $150 Wix website edits, but they actually needed a redesign for 300 or a new site for 500, they couldn't accidentally get the wrong thing and then there'd be that confusion between me and the customer afterwards. This way they just, they know what they kind of want. They book a consultation and we talk about it then. Now, if your service is a little bit more cut and dry to where they don't really need a consultation, they can just go ahead and pay for it. But also give them that option. I put copy on these so you just can't get confused. We're gonna go through the different ways of um, accepting a payment. So in this example, I made it so that then when they click their time and their date, they go to submit and put everything in, they'll be asked for a credit card or PayPal. And then they'd have to pay for it before they could book it. So that might work for some of you if you have an online service or just a service where you know for sure, you know, I want them to pay for it. I want to get paid online before anybody comes in. This is just one option. So that's going to be a pay online um, option. And we'll go into all that in a second. So I'll show you the different options and how they work on the customer side. So here, I made this one so that they pick their time and their date and they know the price and they book it and it books automatically. So this is for if you have a service where you want them to only pay in person, but they can still book it online. So you don't want to take any payments online. You just want them to be able to book online and agree to the to the cost, but you want them to pay in person. So here, we'll go through it. Just let this load.
then they can pick the same thing. So date, time, submit, next. So now we ask for payment information or they can click pay in person and they can just book right away. So this is for either or if you want to, you know, if they can pay, pay now, cool. If not, pay in person. All right. Then this last one I set up. So they pick their time or their date, their time. And now they can pick. Do they want to book a session or do they want to get a paid plan? So you can also tie these to the paid plans app where in your paid plans, they can pay one time for a paid plan. Then they can book sessions and booking um, as often as the plan allows. So you can have them like a certain amount of times they can book a session in the bookings or they can have a, like three sessions they can book in bookings. So this is good for like if you have a membership kind of thing where it's like or you have a yoga class and they can pay $50 per class or they can pay you for an annual plan. The annual plan could be like, let's say $1,000 and they can book as many times as they want. This is where they would book. So if they already had a paid plan, they were logged in, this would just allow them to book. Um, so that's another option. If they wanna buy a paid plan, they can just go here. And then it would bring them to your paid plan option where they could see what they get with it and they could pay for it that way. Or we could have them just book the session. Have them come in here. And then either way, pay in person or pay now. And notice here we put a deposit, so minimum deposit. Um, so with these, we would ask them to pay a deposit before booking. Um, and if you don't put paid in person, then on these data, they'd have to at least pay the 300. So if you didn't allow pay in person, it was just pay online. And it was like a thousand dollar service like this is, then you could get a deposit to make sure that they were serious. So these are just different ways of doing it. And now we'll actually go into the app. Okay, so now we're here in the booking services. We're actually in the dashboard where we would edit at. And I'll just show you how each one was set up. So these are the ones where we just gave them information. So I put the name of the service, I tied it to a new category. This is where you add new categories. Tagline, and then under advanced settings, you can choose to accept or not accept bookings online. So we just turn that off. And that way they could see how much it is, but they can't actually book a time. So that's how I set up that whole first section. Now here in the copies, same deal, made a new category. This one's copy of Wix websites, gave it its title, descriptions, under advanced settings, you can see it's on, you can accept bookings. And then we want it paid, it's a single session, and I want my payment online. And even on an online payment, you can just request um, a deposit on any of those. And the examples I have, I didn't, but it is something that you can, you can uh, it's an option. And this way we get paid when they do it. For here, same thing, single session, but it's in person. So they just know the price, but they don't actually pay us anything online. Once again, single search, single session, but we give them an option. It 
And now here, see, instead of single session, you can make it single session or part of a paid plan, or you can strictly make it part of a paid plan. So this is something you can choose at your discretion. If you're going to do paid plans or not, we'll have a video on paid plans. So I'm going to show you how to integrate it here. Um, but basically, like I said, paid plans is where you get them to agree to either paying a lump sum or a monthly fee, and then they can book a certain amount of times or a limited amount of times. So it just depends on the kind of service. In my service, I could make it so that paid plans had unlimited consultations. So you could pay for a website that would come with, you know, unlimited consultations throughout the year or unlimited consultations for three months. And then they could, you know, as we build the site, they could schedule a time to review the site with me. Um, or if it's a yoga class, you, know, you could have a gold membership with unlimited visits, a silver membership with three visits a week, or a bronze membership with one visit a week. Uh, but they could pay um, either a lump sum or a fee that would be discounted instead of like a full price single session. So these are the different ways to play with the paid plans um, and get payments on booking. So I just kind of wanted to show you all those. Hopefully this explained it good enough. Um, and when you make your different categories, you make them here. So this is how you add new categories. So just to kind of go ahead and we'll do one really quick together. Um, we'll make a whole new category just to kind of show you. And it'll kind of lead into the next video. So we're going to go here. And we're going to go with the print. save service and now we've added print as a category but you can add a category anytime when you add a service just go in just like you saw you click here pick a service so we added print and then our service could be you know, um, let's put business card Design. Schedule. And, and then you kind of get the idea. So we could fill out this just like we did before. Allow them to book or not book. Just like I was showing you. Pick how we want to get paid. So it's a single session, part of a paid plan, or both. If we're going to get paid in person, online, or both. What the price is. And then to request a deposit or not. The time that we're going to allocate. And then which staff member we're going to um, allow to set hours for this. So if I had like a dedicated... That designer, like let's say my brother was the designer, so Alberto Cruz. Then that would be something you'd only book with him. And then we set his staff member times to choose when they're allowed to book that service. And where we want to have it done. And save. And that would be here. And we didn't really put a lot of information because I'm not going to keep that service. It was just kind of show you an example. Let's make sure we publish the site. And let's go back to booking on the live site. And that would show you basically all the steps on you know, how to make a new service and then how to choose how you want to get paid. I'm probably going to keep these where you just have to book a consultation first, but you get to see the pricing. That's smarter for me in this particular service. Other services might not be. Different ways of getting paid, depending on your service, like we talked about. And if you're going to make a service, you know, however you want them to book it. 
All right, well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or this is unclear at all, just let me know and I can clarify it in a different video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, keep us in mind. Call 407-558-2789 with any questions or leave a comment below. Please like the video if it was useful. Have a good night. Bye.